I just spent 300 hours on this project and you guys are probably wondering oh honestly this project probably worth more than 300 hours but if you don't know this project get me 3 million views on Instagram which is crazy there is was a lot of haters and if you don't know me I was in Instagram I was uploading this project and people honestly been telling me over and over this look like Jesco this is MG it's MG B1 brother I don't know what MG is I never even seen that car in my whole life like basically I never even expect to see that car in even in my life but only once after people start bragging about it and I know there is a uh, car that lo might look like my car and of course it's have some element of a sports car but I can tell that this car is unique and I wouldn't be ashamed to say that I didn't honestly get inspired by Jesco if, if you if you get the whole idea of where this car is get inspired by it's get inspired by Agera not Jesco which is I can tell that though I already have the Jesco of the of the of the car which is you can tell if you put it side by my side, you can tell that though the primary body might look like Jesco, of course. But in reality, I didn't honestly have this in mind when I, when I first when I first started this project. Honestly, I can tell the premiere. I didn't actually honestly have it. The only thing that I have is the Agera. Is the Agera is the one I did get inspired by, which is the most beautiful car on this planet. Like except the back of this car, but the the primary body, the the suspension, everything about this car. Is built in quality and honestly I love it and if you don't know honestly I set my project by 2d sketching if you don't know if you can honestly watch this and let me show you ex exactly what I did in those 300 hours before I even I uh, started you can see there is something called the canvas you can tell from here and if I turn off the body you can tell the car is uh, almost matching the sketch which is something that I did in uh, all the time in my design journey that I sketch something and I do it in 3D which is somebody will honestly lack skills off which is because I already developed skills in 3D like since 2017 and I truly truly love it I love every single details about designing and 3D in general I was starting by Blender and Blender is my rendering software now I was modeling in Blender but Blender wasn't honestly doing uh, too much good for me it was really lacking a lot of things only, only not in render render sometimes slack of course but here's the thing before like I started modeling I already did the sketching sketching in infinity photo like before like a first stage that uh, one of my friends told me uh, his name is Stephen uh, Stephen I pray that he's doing well I, I, I'm sorry if I said pronounce his name wrong because I'm not an English person anyway I have this uh, sketch okay he told me that if you Focus on 2D sketch, you're gonna design really fast. And he's right. I focused on 2D sketch and I designed really, really fast. It did not honestly take a lot of time for me. And in 3D, of course, it's gonna take 300 hours. And while, once I was there in a 2D sketch, if you can tell, I already sketched it here. It's already been sketched. I did some kit bashing, some overpainting over and over and get inspired so many cars. You can tell by here what I got in my references that. I got inspired by like uh, sci-fi cars, even though some of them does not exist in, exist in real life, which is honestly I truly love this car right there. It's inspired by F1 and uh, uh, and Ferrari, I think uh, Ferrari from the 90s. Okay, so when I was there, I get look at this engine. Said, okay, how about I do exposed engine like this one? I truly loved it, and I looked. Oh, this one is have a F1 uh, F1 uh, lights. How about I add it here? And maybe wheels or maybe something like that makes it look like sci-fi and hyper prototype car. And I already have the uh, entire idea here presented to you. That you can tell though, I already have some inspiration. And these actually are inspired by sci-fi cars from Cyberpunk 2077, I think. The guy named Flebo Arpitano. His was my best, my best inspiration. Uh, and if you don't know, uh, also, hold on, here is the thing. I get inspired by this one. Yeah, you can tell. You can tell I got inspired. I don't know. These things already existed before. I see this somewhere in cars, but I don't know what this purpose of these. It's maybe like where they storage the... It could be. It could be. I cannot, I cannot tell this, but it could be when it's sort of the neutrons. Like you can tell from here. It actually could be sorting that to like, like a... I don't know what's the, that thing called. It's a neutrons or uh, H2, whatever the fuck. Anyway, I shouldn't be cussing. Fuck it. Anyway. And while I was there, I get honestly inspired, like, with so many cars. Like, 
air intake you can tell it from here this car have an air intake here it's got this air intake from the top does not have this car have from the top like the air intake and this fins i did it right here like something very similar to this and i worked my idea around that and most of the thing that truly lift me up so up in in designing in general it was the um, the sketching the more that i do sketching i even though did so many sketches for this car like basically I just did two things remove thing added things something that honestly does not work out which is which is uh you need to try and i honestly i did some adjustment if you can tell that the sketch uh the the the, the wings of the car and the engine it was right here i was already have the engine here but i did not honestly it does not make the car look cool it's look like it's make it look very very dumb i can show you here hold on a second this is the car i'm gonna no no not, not remove the car i'm gonna take the engine you can tell the engine gave me the engine brother okay hold on isolate the software is lagging and you're gonna lag with me you're gonna sit oh how is your day brothers i don't know what you're gonna think but i got the cool sexy rings you can tell can tell uh, look look at this look at this this one is from days gone anyway it's from a video game and also this one rings this one in my ears is actually from cyberpunk from cyberpunk 277 if you look at that v character um you can tell anyway here's the thing i was honestly doing visualization for this engine just to practice my modeling skills because i never modeled engines engine in my entire life which is I am able to do engine in real life, but I don't want to waste my time and energy into making engine that never get, never going to be printed and no one else is going to use it, which is going to be really sucks. So I said, by a visualization engine, I want to do something. I want to make something for the car. What is the thing that gonna get attached in that area? So I did this engine, and honestly, I put. It was. Uh, hold on a second. It was honestly on the top of the car. It was like this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me push it on the top. On the top. Thank you, Fusion. It was honestly it looks like this. It's visible, but it did not honestly give the car the sexy look. It it it, it looks like sci-fi, of course. Of course, everyone gonna tell. Uh, oh, the engine is visible and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Like the neutrons, you can tell it looks kind of sexy. And honestly, I truly loved it. I I love I love it. But if it was there, it's gonna cause air intake issues and so many things. Even though, like we don't know, there is some things that are uh, honestly causing the car the the aero the aerodynamic of the car. This area right here, like when the when the wings flow in. In the car from uh, this area like you see this my mouse yeah the mouse push the car and hit the primary it's gonna uh, get stuck here this area with the mouse i'm tired this area this this little things is annoying it's also destroying the the aerodynamic thing which is crazy i shouldn't be even uh i should be taken care of but i did not put it in the aerodynamic software yet because i already know it's an aerodynamic cool and just a bit more adjustment is gonna be cool and some things uh here what the fuck man this thing is annoying anyway uh this thing um uh, the the i don't know what the heck is this honestly it's like uh, the aerodynamics improve the air uh dome force of the car i think the the air hitting up and this is how it actually supposed to work but if you don't know i did already engine diesel engine i want to put the diesel engine right here which is uh my brain it's getting inspired by agera not 100 percent. where is the car not this one not this one uh this one this is the one i get inspired by this one it's having front engine i think i think what i what i remember it's have an electronic engine and it have a diesel engine for what i remember so i did the same idea here in my car which is that's pretty much the whole story of how I did those designs, and I, honestly, we are not down in the 10 minutes. I don't want to, guys, uh, waste your time talking about things, too much things. And all this, all this process is about loving the process. It's about love. Nothing else going to push you to this far, to my level, or to anyone outside level. It's about love. If you love creating, and honestly... You truly love it. I mean, like, you obsess over it. The more you obsess over it, the more things gonna get lighter. The better, the better you will get each time. 100 quadrillion percent. Because in this world, nothing is impossible. Impossible is for people that who does not have a brain. 
is everything is possible. You can achieve so many things. Right now, if you don't know, like uh, I know this is this topic is related to designing as well. It's it's uh, presented to everywhere. If you don't know, this one right here is a design. This one is a design. This one rings is design. This jacket is also a design. Uh, this one is also design. This one also design. My haircut, it's a design. It's a style. Better. So, every time that you think that you're not doing anything good enough in life or something like that, you are well worried. Every, remember, every single person in this world is able to create. And, I mean, look at the, around the room. Everything is here is uh, designs. All of them. Every single thing. Even though this one, the MGK, this is my favorite singer, it's design. So start by doing simple things if you want to become an expert designer like me. Or maybe even more, you want to become better than me. If you want to become better than me, you need to love it and obsess over it. It's not about competition. There is no competition. There is never ever going to be a competition. The only competition that you're going to win against is you versus you. No one else out there is your competition. Even if you saw, oh, but this guy is doing better than me. And this guy is doing 10 times better than me. Honestly, that's not true. In reality, all these artists that you see that doing very well in life. And not well in life, uh, well in business, in, in art. They have a, if you don't know about their personal life. They do very well in business. They do very well in arts. But they are not good in personal life. Like they don't have communication. Uh, for example, for me, if you don't know about me, I don't. Hold on a second. I don't have uh, many contact. Only my mother and myself. That's the only people that I talk to. Uh, and God himself, Allah, is the one that I talk to 24-7. No one else in my life, honestly. I don't actually have a, like a personal life. I don't have any friends any friends, all my friends, I don't actually call them friends, I call them people that's who I met online, because I don't honestly believe there is a friends that you can meet online, be, you become besties just straight away, because I tried it and it did not work, but usually stop comparing yourself, this is the biggest life advice I could give you, that if you want to win in this life, you need to stop comparing yourself, that's the whole thing of the story, like every time that you see my design, you don't know who this guy, what he been through, what his life looks like, which is I'm going to talk about it in, some, in the second video is what's happening to me, what makes me want to enjoy designing, what the thing that give me purpose to do designing is I've been a lot of, through a lot of shit. Like guys, you're going to lose their mind if I tell, even though it's the video is going to be censored due to the thing that I have been through making designs and stuff that people honestly does not talk about because they are too embarrassed to speak of. So if you are, if you love something, just be good at it and you honestly, you're gonna get attracted to it personally. You have the idea that the power to become whatever you put your mind to. And honestly, yeah, that's pretty much the whole story of how to become expert designer or this is the 300 hours project that I spend which is usually the last thing that I'm going to tell you that before this 30 seconds going to pass, that you need to love yourself. The most honest love that you're ever going to find is God and yourself. Only you. Yeah, that's pretty much the whole story. And just a last second. And bye-bye, guys. See ya.